up? Uh, this is uh, this is me again. Uh, Bookworm 547. Basically, this right here is a tutorial on the Akai MPK 25. Yeah, you know I mean, all right. The reason I'm making this tutorial is because I just went through hell in a handbasket trying to find out a way to get this goddamn uh, note repeater to work on Fruity Loops. Now, I can't really show you too much because I'm not going to show my face and all that good stuff, but I could go ahead and I could lace it for you and as long as you're listening, you're going to be able to be informed, okay? So I want y'all to listen close and I've been noticing, let's get to it. Uh, basically you got your fruit loops on you got your uh, MPK clicked on you could even have your sync clicked on everything's working but you just can't get the the pad well the problem is it isn't that it doesn't work it is that if you go to global settings and you click over to the MIDI clock try turning that internal I mean external to internal I guarantee you your pads will start speeding up bam da -da 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 -da. and then you use the tempo tap to speed up how fast you want it or how slow you want it basically um, I'm still figuring out this appeggiator uh, the latch and all that but you know with your pro tools once you get it all hooked up with your uh, free loops my bad you should be able to to stop, play, use record, rewind, fast forward, but you know, stop, play, record, and do all that good stuff. So, you know, I couldn't really show you too much other than, let's see if I can get this on. Uh, yeah, this is too bright. The, uh, the, the LCD is way too bright. So, Basically, you got your your LCD pad right here. This is what you're gonna uh, get it to. You're gonna click global value out. Once you hit global, you're gonna click these buttons over. TC MIDI clock. Once you got that MIDI clock, turn the external to internal. Pump your pad on. It works. You turn on your uh, time division. Temple tap should be cracking. This speeds it up, slows it down. This is one fourth one. Also, you could go to edit, and then you could click on the tempo tap. Enter that, and you could switch the quarter to one sixteenth. You know, which is pretty fast. Thirty two. 132 is faster notes and shit, but usually when you have a quarter note, an eighth note, and so on and so on, that's, you know, that's basically the speed you're going to get from there. So you could also speed each and every one of these up higher than what they go, because it only goes up to 30 second notes. So, you know, and that's really fast. You could actually turn this to be all the way up, 30 second T. For the one, and then you could switch to the eight and turn the eight up to whatever. Probably hit 64 if you add them up together. So, you know, that's how you do it. This is tutorial. It's bookworm. Keep it 100. You know what I mean? And, uh, that's how you do it. Alright then, y'all have a nice day.